Namaste friends. My name is Suresh Padanathan and I thought I will talk to you about uh, something very interesting. It's quite some time that I interacted with you on the Facebook live. Today we are going to talk about something which is very meaningful for you. It is the greatest human power. The greatest human power is the power to create a life that you deserve and you desire. That's the greatest human power. Out of the billions of species in this entire cosmos of the universe, only the human beings have the capacity to create a life that they deserve and desire. It's so magical. When we look into that, we will realize the most important phenomena is how do I activate this power? Because this is the highest human power, there is no higher power than this. How do I activate it? Today I will just touch on one aspect and that's magical. I created a workshop titled Sankalp Siddhi. The title is very important of this workshop, Sankalp Siddhi. What is Sankalp? Let's get this right. And within this hidden message of Sankalp itself is the power which if we can understand it can activate your power to create the life that you deserve and you desire. In the meantime, I'll be very happy that if you can just comment which place are you right in, in the city that you are in, maybe you are in Mumbai, Delhi, it will give a good idea to know where you are right now. So if you can just comment, it will be interesting to know where you are from. Anyway, uh, important aspect, Sankalp Siddhi. Sankalp means intention. Now interesting dynamics is what is intention? Intention is when you give conscious, aware energy to one thought and you intensify that thought, that is called intention. Intention means condensed energetic thought. We as human beings have countless thoughts on an everyday basis. Number of thoughts keep coming and depending on who you are and what the circumstances you are facing, you will find a lot of thoughts coming to you. As these thoughts hit you, they are not intention. Intention is one of the thoughts or few of the thoughts which you want to manifest in life. You take it out and you give it solidified energy. You give it energy. And then the thought starts condensing or intensified or we can call it as crystallization manifestation happens. That is why I said Sankal Siddhi. Many of us have a lot of Sankal. That means we have a lot of desires but they don't get fulfilled. Fulfilled means Siddhi. It should happen. But between the desire and the fulfillment, there is a lot of way in between and we need to understand those processes. Let's start with understanding the first and the most important is take a thought, intensify it, give energy to it and then it starts happening. That is why Sankal Shakti, Sankal Siddhi are the words used in Sanskrit for manifestation very very far. Now comes an important secret that I would like to share with you on manifestation. Which season naturally is the best to manifest and which place is the best to manifest. Now you need to understand the core base of it. The core base of manifestation is you, your mind and the state of the mind. How is it? Calm, cool, composed, disturbed, 
this can be the two states so we call it as a workable state and a non workable state a useful state and a not useful state many times in the day we keep going from useful state to not useful state that we need to observe in our body and mind naturally speaking when you are in a useful state which is your mind is cool and calm and you are feeling happy you are having high energy those are the times that you need to manifest which is a natural process many of us don't manifest around those times we take we force ourselves and we try to get that state in and then we are manifesting it's a very uphill task so one of the easiest aspect of life which i always realize is go with nature understand the nature nature by itself is keeping you cool and calm at a particular time which is specific to you use that time to manifest it's beautiful that time what will happen with the minimalistic efforts with the minimalistic time manifestation will be precise and fruitful the whole energy works with minimalistic energy minimalistic time and manifestation should happen that's the process of the entire universe if you are doing the opposite then something is wrong at that point of time and you are not getting the basic right which i feel you should get it right which is understanding the laws of the nature i hope you are with me so far so we touched on two important dimensions one is check your mind and body and mind see if it's cool calm and composed those are the best times to manifest next take a thought out and you give it energy and as you give it energy it will start solidifying or it will got intensifying that's what is called as intention from intention you come to manifestation now manifestation happens from two spaces one is called default or one is called design all of us have experienced manifestation it's not that we have not experienced many of the times it is in default suddenly something happens and it happens quickly and you feel astounded you think of a person that the person will call and the person calls you think that you want to uh, get some book or like cd or some object and that comes to you in your life magically it's manifestation so many of us experience manifestation on a very regularized basis or even a day to day basis but the magic is to move from default to design why you need to move from default to design you need to move from default to design simply because then you can create what you love what you desire and what you deserve and when you want it otherwise you need to keep waiting waiting in the hope that something will happen this can also be called as good luck good destiny good karma etc and this not under your hand right so you keep that apart and go into the design part of it and the more you understand the design is fabulous and i pray that you'll get this entirely right the part to create if you can get it right how beautiful it is isn't it okay just one more aspect which is very critical like i told you your mind has to be cool and calm check whenever you cool and calm and use that for manifestation that's a easier way out this is the design of the universe and this is a very amazing thing to understand that th this creation happens between two aspects one is the universal energy and when you so it's a co-created process so in a co-creation you and the universe get together to create universe is always there in a the space perfect but our minds our moods our emotions our thoughts keep changing and fluctuating that's why it's important to control this part universe is there in its own self it's always ready so learn to control here it's like a thermostat you know so when you move the thermostat and you're not in a resourceful state not in a happy state when you're not in a joyful state when you're not in a calm cool composed state at the time you should avoid uh, manifestation let's see the season for manifestation which season is very apt so you'll understand largely there are five seasons we can put it technically if you look into google they would say there are four seasons that's what westerners understand let's say we have five let's start with now now spring time then we'll have summer 
then we'll have rainy season, then we'll have autumn, winter, then spring. Let's look at spring, which is now between March to roughly April, we have the spring season in India. Many of us don't understand spring season at all. It's called Basant Rutu. We don't understand about spring. We club it with, let's say summer. So we say winter and then summer. There's nothing in between. Absolutely not. The most important season for manifestation is the spring season. And specifically if you're in a northern belt of India, specifically I have experienced uh, almost all the seasons in Delhi and above north. Beautiful, you know. Spring is called reborn. The whole existence, wherever spring is there, different uh, countries have different months for spring. But what is the very nature of spring? The very nature of Basant Rutu or spring is reborn. The flowers are coming up. The fruits. There is this mammals and animals who are in hibernation who are coming out of hibernation after winters so it's like rebirth everywhere and this rebirth is a higher energy it's an energy of creation in itself so when creation happens in the universe creation almost happens on an everyday basis but large creation in the area in which you stay spring one of the best seasons to create so just you register that fact, oh my god, I'm in spring, March, April and May, great. Let me manifest maximum by design rather by default. It will be beautiful. Another important thing to understand, location of manifestation. Anywhere which gives you coolness in the head is great. That is why mountains are the best places to manifest. Or water body, and it's great as a combination where you have also a mountain, where you also have a water body. Wow, beautiful. If you look at uh, Himalayas, you know, all the maximum spirituality manifestations happen out there very effortlessly, simply because the mountain region gives you the coolness and at the same time, if you find the water body like the Ganges, wow, fantastic. So either you should be near a water body or combo of both or in a mountain. So I shared you amazing secrets today, out of which largely two things to remember, specifically because we are in the month of April. We have one more month, April, and a little bit of May for the spring to end, and then we'll have peak summer. So ride with the universe, ride with the energy, and it's magical. So spring is the best month to manifest because it's life itself is being created. Second, mountain or Water body. I'm very sure that a lot of Indians are going to mountainous regions, specifically with their family and uh, friends, loved ones. So use that for manifestation. As you're going up the mountain, manifest your life. See how that 2018, 19 should be for you. Manifest something wonderful. Think all those ideas and magical things will happen. The only problem is that when we are in a very happy space, when in the pool spaces, we forget the manifestation as a tool and we uh, dive into whatever is happening as an event and before we blink the eye, uh, the months and the days are gone. We've gone to the mountain, we have clicked some various selfies, we have seen the various spaces and then we come back and by the time it's gone, we have forgotten the manifest. So all it needs is a registration. So it's great to share this video with your family and friends so that they can remind you, hey, at least one in your family can always tell. Let's keep reminding each other that uh, mountainous region we are going, let's manifest, let's take some 10 minutes out. Specifically, if you are in a cool water body, close your eyes and manifest, it will happen faster. And there are other intricate processes of manifestation, which I teach at Sankalp Siddhi. And I'll be very happy to share that we are having three Sankalp Siddhis outlined. Uh, it's a one day program. It's a small one day program. At least you start off on that and it gives you a lot of valuable insight. We are having one workshop in Sankalp Siddhi in Pune, which is uh, coming Sunday, which is April, I think, 15. Then we are having in Bangalore, uh, May uh, 6th, again, it's a Sunday, and in Chennai, subsequent to that, I think it's May 13th or whatever. So I'll put it in the comment section. And uh, if you want to manifest your life from really a thoughtful process, trust me, my friends, is the biggest power. And uh, this Sankalp Siddhi, we have got a lot of amazing insights which I have created to make it really power-packed. 
So share it with your loved ones and if your destiny is right, if you have an intent to manifest quickly, if you have an intent to manifest surely, and if you have an intent to manifest precisely using design, then welcome to Sankalp City. I thank you very much for listening to all these Facebook Live which we keep doing. I really put a lot of efforts in Facebook Live. Please do understand that all this is freely available. I would really appreciate if you can take your time, share good things with your friends and loved ones. The more you can click the share button and share it, you'll be touching somebody's life and that's good karma. Good luck, best wishes and happy manifestation. Thank you.